What is FIRE? Well, it's definitely not people burning money like you might see there in the thumbnail. It is financial independence retire early. So the FIRE movement is people that are seeking financial independence and seeking to retire early. So today I'm going to go through with you on what is the FIRE movement, how are people pursuing it, why the name might be a bit confusing, and then am I pursuing FIRE? Hello everyone, my name is Ethan Rishok, and as I said, today is going to be all about FIRE, the Financial Independence Retire Early Movement. So I'm going to be talking about it and explaining what it is and why that name of Financial Independence Retire Early, and in particular that Retire Early part, maybe isn't true for a lot of people that are pursuing this. The FIRE movement has become really popular amongst a lot of younger people and even people that are further along in life. And the reason for the popularity is the flexibility that that financial independence brings with it, and hence why it started with the retire early concept, but it has branched much more beyond that. But I think that's why that financial independence part of it is the real key part of it. The basics of FIRE is people becoming better with their money. So whether that's through saving more, or whether it's through investing, or whether it's cutting expenses, or reducing debt, or not even taking on debt in the first place, all of these things combined to put someone in a much more financially independent position. Now, financial independence itself can mean different things to different people. So for some people, it's about having enough passive income that would replace their normal wage. For some people, it's having a large amount of investments or savings that they can then draw that down as a wage. Or it could be a combination of both. For some, it's a combination of that plus a reduced employment income. There's lots of different things that go into it, which I'll get into a little bit. But the whole concept is based around being better with your money, therefore putting yourself in a position where you can be more flexible with what you do with your time. It's all about changing your mindset when it comes to money. And I think that's one of the great things about the FIRE movement is people have become more educated on money. There's people that have found out about the FIRE movement and become educated on investments when they didn't even know anything about investments before. There's people that have got better with their savings rates or have reduced expenses that maybe they thought were actually a waste of money in the long run. So in general, people have become more educated about money, which I think is really awesome. There's Facebook groups dedicated just to FIRE movements with some really great Australian-based ones. There's Reddit subreddits. We've got YouTube channels. We've got podcasts. There's also people that are now talking about this and educating more people, which I think is great as long as the education is correct. But the general concept of people wanting to learn more about money is really great. Now, I did mention that the retire early concept of it maybe isn't as popular as what it first was. So a lot of people are seeking financial independence, but maybe not seeking that retire early part of it, or maybe not seeking it in the traditional way. So I think we see, traditionally see retirement as retirement. We don't work anymore, we're finished. That's obviously where the concept comes from is that people normally reach a retirement age. You know, here in Australia, 65, 70 years old, they retire, they stop working, and then they rely on whether it's their super or their savings to get them through. Now, some people seeking fire, that is their goal. They do want to retire early. They want to retire much earlier than traditionally. They might want to retire 40 years old, 35 years old. In some extreme cases, people are retiring at 30 years old. But not everyone wants to reach retirement. They more like the idea of the financial independence side of things. So with that financial independence, they may retire a little bit earlier, maybe in their 50s. But in that time in between when they could have retired financially, they may take up a lower paying job, but something they really love doing. Or they may work for six months of the year and take the other six months off to go spend time traveling or with their family or friends. Or they might even start up a small business on the side that maybe isn't going to generate huge money, but they know that they can afford that lifestyle because they've got a large amount of financial independence behind them. There's lots of different hybrids and lots of different ways that people could make up fire and it doesn't necessarily have to mean that you reach financial independence and you retire the next day. I think that's a really awesome thing about financial independence is the flexibility it can bring. And that flexibility can bring a lot of happiness to people. So that's probably one of the main reasons people pursue it is they go, I don't want to be stuck in a nine to five for 55 years of my life. I want to be able to do the things I want to do when I want to do them. So they seek that financial independence to allow them that flexibility. Now, am I pursuing fire? Well, yes and no. I'm always pursuing financial independence because I think that is a really important thing for me because I do want that flexibility. So I love doing my business stuff and I love the flexibility that brings that, okay, if I do need time off in the future, I can take that, etc. But I also love the idea of working because I love running my business. 
So I'm not necessarily seeking that retire early aspect of it. I'm also maybe not as strict as others on trying to increase my saving rates or increase my investing rates because I do plan on working for a long time as far as running businesses. So my business will start to generate some passive income forms that maybe aren't as reliant on my time. So I like that idea of producing a bit of a passive income stream. But I actually do really enjoy running this business and whether I run this business for another 50 years or whether I change to 10 different businesses in that time, I can always see myself doing something like that. So I'm maybe not caught up in chasing a fire number like some people are, but I'm definitely trying to seek more financial independence and grow my wealth because I think that will allow me to do more things in the future. I do really want to pursue things such as travel and one day when I've got a family, go away with them or do things with them or take the time off to spend time with them. So I think that's really important to me and therefore putting myself in a more financially independent position I think will get me there. The FIRE movement is really interesting because it's great that so many people are educating themselves on money, getting better and then playing it out in a way that suits them. I think the key thing if you're going to pursue something such as FIRE is making sure you're enjoying the pursuit. You don't want to be hating life for 15 years because you've cut down and you can't go out for food and you've cut your budget so tight just so you can reach this retire early aspect, you wanna make sure you really enjoy that pursuit. And I think the ones that have really succeeded with it have absolutely loved the process of improving their financial position without it feeling like they've cut quality out of their life. I really wanna hear from you, are you pursuing fire? And if you are, what is motivating you? Is it the retire early part or is it the flexibility? Thanks for watching the video. Make sure you hit that like button, check out some other content, and I'll talk to you again soon.